Okay, hello YouTube. This is my 1983 920 Yamaha Virago. Uh, chopped back in, just did a bunch of custom work to it. It's getting close to the end phases now, so just starting to touch things up. And one of the things I have to replace now is a stator. So I'll go through a little bit of what I've done to it so far, and then we'll get into the new project. So one of the things we got here, uh, put a new CDI. The CDI box is under the tank, so it's got a new one of those. Uh, it's got two new uh, OEM ignition coils. Um, I did do the um, dual carb conversion and spun the carburetor sideways, so it's only got a single carburetor now. Uh, makes it, sucks down gas pretty well, but uh, it's pretty fast. Uh, put the custom exhaust on there uh, with the heat wrap on there, so it looks pretty slick. Um, sitting there with the black. Had a custom battery box made. It's a good battery, about 320 cold crank amps, so that's good. Um, and then going over, it's got a new starter. Starter's right here, so it's got a brand new starter in there. Um, did the paint job myself, it turned out pretty well. Um, the flat bar is here, so as you can see, you cut the, the back end off here, put just a small seat for a girl to sit on if she needs a short ride. Got the Springer seat in there. Um, this is where we're at on the new project. This is the stator. And one of the things that I did here, I drew a picture of the outside stator cover and each one of those bolts that came out, I stuck it into the hole that kind of looked, that aligned with how that stator cover uh, is set up. And this right here is also where the infamous starter clutch is. And there is our fabulous little starter clutch system. And it's been replaced. Uh, I've done it, that was the first project I did. So that's replaced, it goes right in there. This guy right here spins with the starter. Starter hits that starter clutch system, the starter clutch system smashes into the flywheel, the flywheel kicks it over and get away we go. You can see right here, all these are flakes right here that I'm just touching right there. That's because that's smashing into the flywheel. It's a harder material, whereas that's a softer material and Yamaha knew that was gonna happen. So they actually put a um, magnet under here to try and catch more flakes. Uh, it doesn't work very well, but they do have it in there. Uh, so I'll clean that out uh, again. So hopefully with getting this new stator, which is, this is the stator, it just plugs right into the cover right there, just slides right onto it. So that's your stator, it goes into an amplifier regulator uh, over here. So the regulator, uh, the one that I ordered was $120 and I ordered it uh, with the stator. So I'll have a brand new regulator and a brand new stator. Just plug those guys in right there. Uh, and then give it a retest. So, one of the things that I'm worried about is this fancy little holder, this case holder. I'm not sure how to change these guys out in there, so that's gonna be one of the things we try once we get the stator in. Uh, did some custom blinkers on it also, so completely new wiring system in there. So we did the back blinkers that uh, have the all, has the handbrakes and then also blinker and the uh, brake lights. So that is my 1983 Yamaha Virago. Underneath that skull right there, that is where I grounded all the wires. You can see you can go right in there. So just a fancy little cover for where I grounded the bike. We ran all the wires because we took out the airflow system. We ran all the wires inside uh, the airflow system. So that was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, so that's where we're at and I will do part two once the stator comes in.